My dear friends, as you know, things have been developing rapidly regarding the pandemic we find ourselves battling right now. There has been an array of orders issued by various government entities. Some are in conflict with each other, but two consistent messages emerge from, emerge from all the orders. Observe at least six feet of social distancing and stay home. As your bishop, I want to echo the message heard around the country, stay home. That seems to be the single most important way to combat the disease afflicting us. That is the responsible thing we must do as Christians out of love for one another. The restrictions imposed upon us as citizens and as Catholics are not easy to accept or practice, but we must be willing to set aside attitudes which focus primarily on ourselves in favor of sacrifices on behalf of the safety, well-being, and good of others. I've revised some of those restrictions and they can be found on our diocesan website. As I have said before, God had a plan for our Lenten sacrifice this year that we really did not foresee. In these final days of Lent, let us embrace the cross which has been placed on our shoulders by this disease and know that especially with our contribution to the effort and by the grace of God, we will be called out of the tomb we find ourselves in to new life with the renewed appreciation for our freedom, for the sacraments of our church, and for our community of faith which we've come to appreciate more than ever in their absence in the present circumstances. We're about to enter into Holy Week, always a special time filled with rich traditions and opportunities for inspiration and special grace. Some of our traditions might have to give way to new traditions this year. Different ways of participating in the liturgies and devotions of Holy Week will be discovered. But the opportunities for inspiration and grace still abound maybe with superabundance because of what we are forced to give up by virtue of the sacrifices we have to make. One huge opportunity afforded us this year is to engage your families more than ever in the church's prayer during Holy Week. In that regard, I'd like to offer you one small suggestion for each of the special days and celebrations to come this week. They're very rudimentary ideas, which the more creative among you can expand upon and share via social media among extended family and friends and faith group companions. For Palm Sunday, the catechetical leader at our cathedral has come up with a wonderful idea which I'd like to pass along. In the absence of real palm branches, as we're accustomed to have, the family can create their own palms by cutting out paper palm fronds, or drawing pictures of palms, or even going to the yard and cut off a fresh spring branch. Then when you see palms being blessed during your live stream mass, raise up your homemade palms or branches and consider them blessed as well. And keep those palms prominently displayed around the house to help remind you of the holiness of the week. For Holy Thursday Mass of the Lord's Supper, we have the tradition of washing feet as a gesture of service and love, which are preludes to participation in the Eucharist which was instituted at that Last Supper. Decide now what gesture of service and love you as family members can perform that day as a different sort of foot washing. I'll be allowing time during the celebration of the Mass of the Lord's Supper at the cathedral to permit families to enter into some form of gesture of service and love in their homes as I read scripture passages from the Last Supper and songs will be sung. For Good Friday, Look around your house for a favorite cross or crucifix. And then on Good Friday, place it very prominently in your home. If you participate in the celebration of the Lord's Passion live streamed from your parish or the cathedral, when the adoration of the cross takes place during the liturgy, use the time of silence and prayer to adore your home cross or crucifix. Genuflect before it. You know, Good Friday is the only day when we as Catholics genuflect before something other than the Eucharist. For Holy Saturday, get a special candle for your home. As part of the day next Saturday, decorate that candle as your family's Paschal candle. If you need some clues for decorations, just do an internet search for Paschal candles and you'll find all kinds of samples that places will try to sell you. But you don't have to buy those. Make your own. You know, I've been doing that since I was about seven or eight years old. I'll do it to use as my own Paschal candle in the chapel in my house. 
If your family watches the celebration of the Easter Vigil, light your candle at the beginning of the ceremony when the candle is lit in church. And then keep it lit throughout the ceremony, which remember might be a little long, you know. Finally, we will arrive at Easter Sunday. Be sure to participate in a live stream mass that day so that you can appreciate the joy of Easter. The first Easter was not immediately understood by the followers of Jesus. Our Easter this year might be a little difficult to comprehend. Celebrate the mystery even if we can't grasp its full meaning. Be sure to light your home Paschal candle and have it there throughout the Easter Sunday Mass. Then prepare an extra special meal as a family and celebrate your life, health, and togetherness. Make sure you have the table decorated in a special way and place your family Paschal candle on the table or clearly visible where you will share your meal. You know, these are just a few ideas for your family from a crusty old celibate. Let's not spend the week, though, focusing on what we can't do. Let's focus on the opportunities afforded us by the strange circumstances in which we find ourselves. Opportunities? Yes. Opportunities for a renewal of family life, for sharing with others more deeply than ever before, and for encountering God in ways which maybe we've neglected or never even knew we could. May you have a very blessed Holy Week. This probably won't be the last you'll hear from me on video, but in the meantime, please stay home.